world, welcome back to the Velky Biker. It's a pleasure being back on the bike again, as I try and do once a week if I can. If I can't, then I try and do a video every week on something to do with learner riders or about this uh, particular model of my bike, which is still currently the Kiwi Super Late 125. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Grim Reaper Foods Company. If you've got a, a very good tongue and stomach for hot spicy sauces, these guys are incredible. Have a quick look at the link below for the Grim Reaper Food Company. They do online stuff and they can send to your house. I want to give a shout out to Lee. First of all, Lee, well done and congratulations. Massive congratulations for passing your full license. I am so envious and also very, very happy for you. Um, you and a few others have uh, recommended I use uh, something like a football cone to do my figure eight training on instead of the stones. So that's what's going to happen today. And uh, if you like the look at these football cones, which are very compact and bijou, let's say, uh, very easy to store in the saddlebags. Uh, see a link below again, and I'll show you exactly where I got them from. And if you get them from the Amazon, please click on the link that I give you, because uh, that will help me out uh, for future affiliations with Amazon as well. So today has been a real dry day, very hot day today. Um, we have possibility of rain later on today so that's why I want to go out now rather than later on when the rain then takes up all the muck from the, around, the ground. Now as you, some of you might know I'm not a very confident rider at the moment when it comes to uh, filtering or overtaking um, and I think that's fine if you're a learner. I know it's something we do need to learn because What's the point of having a bike if you can't filter and uh, progress in a traffic jam and have fun with it? And I think the reason why I'm not very confident with that is because, um, one, I don't want to uh, have my, car, my bike cut out on me because I'm a little bit nervous. It's, uh, it's still cut out on a very low um, throttle, uh, which is why I'm changing the uh, spot plug soon. But more so, it's my own confidence as a, as a rider um, about being able to be positive with my through action past these cars and make sure I'm not touching any window um, side mirrors or anything like that. And I think it's going to take time and in time I will get that confidence. I mean, I might even do it today, you never know. <laughs> But I think if I don't feel that it's the right time, I certainly won't push myself. I'd rather wait that extra five minutes behind a car than spend an extra five weeks on a hospital bed. Not onto the bicycle, because that's not where we are. We're not a bicycle. We are a motorcycle. And as such, we need to obey the laws. So this is Christchurch, uh, you probably have heard it. It's not Christchurch, New Zealand, it's Christchurch uh, in uh, Dorset. Uh, a very old town. Actually, this is gonna be very good for practicing. So let's take this as a practice thought here. There's a keep clear sign, so obviously you wanna keep clear. There's a reason for a keep clear. You're crossing over. Hello. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm just going to give myself a bit of space. And check over my shoulder. I will go past these bicycles. Give a nice long berth, but I will not overtake this BMW. 
if you look to your left over the brow of this hill, you will see Christchurch Castle, or the remains of the Lord's Manor House, I think it was. I can't remember. So all the Jubilee flags are out. Queen's Jubilee today. Everybody and their dog <laughs> is out today enjoying themselves and there's my mates in the uh, ambulance so I'm going to be turning right at this roundabout just put myself into first gear check I can go there that's kind of a lane filter now that's the one I should have gone down to okay so I'm going to go around the roundabout again this is all good practice. Mind these lines, remember, when it's wet, they're going to be very slippery. Okay, so positioning, indicating, slowing down. A little bit on the brake, checking my corners, slowing down, changing my gear, going around, cancelling, getting my next one. And then cancelling again. Nice. Now here, potentially, I could filter. I'm going slower than speed limit. And I've got plenty of space, but they are moving on, progressing. I'm moving over this bike here. So I'm not going to follow suit. I'm just going to stay behind because I want to take the next exit anyway. Okay, so I'm checking mirrors, slowing it down, see what this pedestrian is going to do as well. Cancelling. Right, this guy is going to be half in, half out, so let's call, call it down. There we go. Keep the centre of the road, equal danger each side. Now this is a 30 limit, but because there's a lot of traffic, I'm expecting some motorcyclists coming up this inside, in between me and them. So I just want to take it easy and also check my corners and check um, people crossing the road at odd places and pedestrianised areas there's no waste there's no reason to hurry and I think if you've got a known reason to hurry that's good ah I could filter can I filter let's go for it <gasps> look at that I'm going to find find my area of that's it, safety with jagged lines good jagged lines Nice and slow. Watching the brake, watching the car. I'm going to come in now. There's a car coming in. Checking my distance there. Good. Okay. Nice and safe at the top. Just keep on checking. Nice and slow. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in. And stop. Always checking where my area of safety is going to be. That's it. Okay. Go let them out. myself I actually did lane filtering 
Yes, I'm so, so proud. I've done that before. <laughs> oh, it's only taken like oh, no, six years <laughs> off and on. Um, right, now, how did I get the confidence? So what I was thinking, um, I can't remember what I was saying to you when I was doing that because um, I think I was just giving you verbal diarrhea, as it were, because I was quite nervous but also calm in a funny way. Um, so what happened was that I was uh, seeing a, a pattern, people stopping and starting this pe- those spaces, so I could see where my area of safety was if I had to sort of do a plan A, plan B, and I could see far up the road as well. And the reason why I think I was able to do it this time, besides having all that, is because I've been watching, again, a few... YouTubers in the UK who are motorcycle trainers and they have done YouTube on how to filter correctly and they talk about um, the dangers and everything I'm going to do a Yui here Um, yeah, they talk about the um, the dangers of um, doing filtering, what to look out for. But I guess the most important thing is you only do it if you feel safe to. And if it's safe to do so. So is it necessary? Is it safe? And can you progress without putting yourself or anybody else in danger I mean if you have if you're doing it and you are making traffic deviate from their normal route then that's a danger and I believe you can get a points on your license for that but it's not illegal in the UK currently United Kingdom to lane filter but it is a grey area. So I think if you do it, if you do it uh, too fast um, and erratically, or you aggressively overtake, then you can get penalised for that. So um, that's why it's taken me a long time. But I'm so so happy that I've done it. <laughs> I feel like a little girl again. I can't wait to get home and tell my other half that I can lay filter. I probably won't be able to do it again for another couple of months. (laughs) But I've done it once and I felt good, so that's good. And I didn't didn't actually feel... I didn't feel in danger, which is good, because I was slow and I was um, anticipating. I think that's the main word. You anticipate what's going to come towards you if a great big juggernaut was going to come around that corner could I in good time find myself a place to um, to dive into and if I couldn't was there a plan B and I've had that in my head anyway we're here at the uh, car park and let's see how my manoeuvres are getting on okay. So I've put out these cones. Um, So I've got two park spaces in between and each cone is like halfway up from there. That's roughly where I think the figure eight will be. So let's see how we go for this. Now, I don't have a measuring tool to check. I'm hoping it's about the the right size metres for them. If it is, that's great. (laughs) There we go. Is there another way of actually doing a check guys on how to do the correct measurements for the figure eight 
I think I have done it. I done it. Got slight pressure on my on my throttle. My gas is about two and a half. That's for that's a touch on my left foot down there. Slightly breaking on my rear. Trying not to if I can. As far as I understand, you've got to do this twice. But uh, that's a big heavy. So that would have been that would have been a complete fail there. That last one. Let's try again. Let's go this way around. Because each uh, test center will have a slightly different way, I think, of doing this, wouldn't they? They might do a left, right, right, or right, left, right, I think. So if I learn how to do both, in a way, I'll be able to prepare myself. Set. Now, you guys said, don't look at the cone, look in the space between the cones. So, okay, let's go for that. And I'm doing it, and I think I've done it. Yes, done it. Good. Okay, let's try the other direction then. Let's try the other direction. So it's coming up from. It's coming up from this side now. What do you think? Is this a pass or is this a uh, you're plodding through it? <laughs> I'm trying to relax my arms, I'm trying to relax my shoulders because if you tense up, you don't breathe as well. And that's another thing I, f- oh, I should be looking there. That's another thing. If you tense up, you don't breathe as well and you can't get enough oxygen to your brain for the important things of thinking. Try this exercise whilst you're watching this DVD, this video, guys. Make a fist in both hands. Squeeze as tight as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. As tight as you can. As tight as you can. What's happening to your breath? I reckon you kind of hold it. Or you don't breathe as deeply as you are now. So... Breathe, relax. So when you're breathing and you're relaxing, your shoulders relax and soothe. Oh, <laughs> oh crazy Valkyrie biker. I know, I know. But I'm very, very happy now. I had a quick foot down uh, initially when I first started. And I'm on the throttle, just slightly. And I'm very, very happy with this. Cool. Tell me what you think, guys. If you've got any questions about uh, practicing for the ass and if I can do it, let me know. All right. Thanks again for uh, catching up with me. Uh, It's always a pleasure. Please do hit that like and subscribe and share. It really helps my channel out because it's going to help me make more content just like this for you guys. Stay safe, ride well, catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.